Okay, so we all know that the, they just start like welding or something. I get it, I get it. Hey, look at me, I'm a construction worker. I go and do my job, an idiot. <laughs> okay, so we know the deal by now. It's DIY. Uh, DIY, why am I alive? DIY, why are we here? DIY, why haven't you smashed like yet? DIY, why don't you subscribe if you're new? Anyway. That's a whole lot of work for like a thimble full of orange juice, isn't it? Like almost like a glass would be better. Like what's the, there's no use to the, it, it, it's fucking useless. Like it's the kind of thing that like, yes, you can do it, but nobody in humanity ever would. Unless they were making a life hacks video, of course. It's sort of the same as like, hey guys, you know the water tank? Well, instead of having pipes that lead into your house so you can have your water from the company, from comfort from the comfort of your home um well well what you can actually do instead of that is just make a hole in the water tank just pop this on there uh and and then just go open it up and just suckle from the teat of the water tank it'd be brilliant hey did you guys know that over in canada to get maple syrup from trees they don't actually tap the trees anymore they just you know, hot glue the top of a bottle to a tree i actually personally use these hacks a lot um Every time I exercise, flashback. So yeah, hi, I'm back. Also, uh, Vin... Vincero. Se seamless transition into the sponsor, I know. So Vincero is a watch company with watches that I wear in my daily life. They've got over 13,000 five-star reviews on their watches. They have very classy, very stylish looking watches at an affordable price. And right now they're doing customizable gift boxes. So if you want to get one of these for a family member, friend, loved one then you can do that with the extra personal touch of a personalized engraving on the back of the watch which they also offer i seriously am a fan of these watches they're simple and they go with a lot of things they're very versatile and if you go to the link in the description you can get 15 percent off your order quite a good discount for quite a good product for quite a good boy so that'd be fantastic um go check them out they've helped me out a lot they've been awesome to work with over the course of the past few months they're solid boys. So anyway, back into the video. Boom. That was an awesome transition. Guys, it's evolution. This is what Charles Darwin was telling us about. It's like cooking. All you gotta do, a little bit of banana, a little bit of kiwi fruit, dash of dirt, a little bit of salt, boom, you've got a new species on your hand. And now obviously this one's a joke. I don't think they expected anyone to take it seriously, but it's on an account that's like, all the other posts are normal, serious life hacks. So like, did they just like take this from someone else? What I'm guessing is that somebody made this as a bit of a piss take, you know, making fun of life hacks. And then all these bootleg life hack accounts just see that and go, ooh, that's a video I can steal. And they steal it w without realizing that it's just the fucking stupidest thing ever. And I love the people in the comments just mm, fake. Really? I did. I never would have known. Thank you.
Okay, with this one, like the craftsmanship is solid. The crafts, like they planned it out, right? But also, why would you do that? Like it is actually really impressive. But also, why? I'm not doing that. I'm I'm way too lazy for that. I used to make Reddit. We have done it. We've we've discovered a whole nother level of broke. And I get that not everyone is in the position where they can afford branded t-shirts, branded this, that. I get that. But th this isn't a good compromise. It it, it it doesn't look real. No no one thinks it's real. Everyone knows you just ironed that on. Um just just don't embarrass yourself like this. Right? Like the only reason you would do this is to convince people that you have an Adidas near t-shirt or jacket or whatever. But no one thinks you do. A way better option would just be to buy a knockoff off eBay. Like, that would look much more convincing than a piece of paper on a fucking t-shirt. But this just reeks of broke. It's like, like you could offer this to a homeless Syrian refugee with a solid rat diet and they would still decline because it just looks so bad. Right, sh sure, I'm I'm not sure that's the best surface to be wiping things on your face with, but sure, fine, right? It keeps the thing clean, but like, I, are you just going to apply this to everything? Okay guys, so I just found out about this epic life hack, where basically, with all your cutlery, you just wrap it up with plastic, and then eat your food, and then you don't even need to clean your cutlery, because you just ate off fucking clad wrap, that's, that's so brilliant, that's so awesome, that's so clever. You know, you can just... Um, clean as a whistle. There we go. Life hacked. Thank you, five, five minute crafts, or whoever made this one. You're all the same. Okay, here's my favorite tip. What you can actually do is just. You're right about the breathing thing. Jesus, I'm gonna die in this. <laughs> Look, even if you splash a bit of water on your face, you know, get some a little bit. What you can do? Just rip that boy off. Good as new. You can reuse this face as many times as you want. Thanks, Five Minute Crafts. Or whoever. Good night. Hey guys, I'm just in bed here. I, I just wanted to share this epic hack with you because when I wake up, uh, these sheets, I'll, I won't have to wash them. I just wrap up my bed every day. Poof. Easy. Clean as a whistle. Um, I just wanted to share that with you. Kind of genius. Right, okay. Okay, what else do you want me to say? You've boiled an egg. You've done it. Well done. Um, you've made a slightly worse version of a normal boiled egg with a little bit of a plastic aftertaste. Mwah. I love it. Thank you for showing me this. Very cool. Okay, <laughs> okay, what else do you want me to say? Oh, okay, bon appetit, mwah.
Mwah, Ratatouille? Yeah, Mr. Ratatouille wishes he could cook this. Like, wh what? Do, do you want to eat this? No, you don't. I'll answer for- No, you don't want to eat this. Yeah, even the starving refugee kid from earlier. Nah, he, d he don't want a part of this. Like, Mr. Gear. How have you uploaded this and thought, yeah, this is a good idea that human beings are going to love? It perplexes me, it really... What? You, you place a f***ing olive on an egg and then you put that on tomato sauce. I'm not... No, f*** off. Like, what an insult. Imagine being one of his 9 million subscribers. Click on a new video in your subscription box if it gets there. And seeing this, an olive on an egg with some sauce. I'm ranting about an egg olive. This is what it's come to. What? So the problem we're dealing with is that you can't reach your zipper all the way at your back. So the solution is to attach a string to the zipper that you can't reach so that you can now reach the zipper that you couldn't reach. But how do you put the string through it if you can't reach it? I mean, if you're going to take it off and then put the string through it, then you might as well just take it off, move the zipper up a little bit, and then just... <clears throat> that's, that's my statement to you. This isn't good for my mental health. I need to talk to a therapist about this. Just Okay, so basically there was this f***ing egg. Piss off. Sauce on the lid of a coffee cup. Life hacked? I tag someone who needs to see this. Yeah, the FBI. The the police need to see this. Mr. Oh, this this account. Six Nana. That that is a disgusting account. Look at look at that. What what is that? Can we can we report this one? I I'm not saying we should mass report this account. I've never seen a worse image than that. That that is putrid. <laughs> Ah, shit. what, what, what's that? Your cat's a tiger. That's not legal. I'm calling, I'm calling the police. I'm beep beep, jail time. And then they go and teach you how to bandage it up. Yeah, okay, first aid, that's for the week. Yeah, just use a band-aid, pussy. You've just ru ruined a perfectly good Apple Watch for something that's not even very cool. Yeah, you can blow Tic Tacs cool, but like, the Apple Watch is like $500, if not more, right? I don't know how much they're charging for those things. Yeah, it's probably not the best idea, but if you've done this, if you've fallen victim to this scam, then what you can do is actually just replace it with a new Vincero watch. Link in the description, 15% off. I linked it back, are you proud of me? Anyway, there we go. I think that's about it for this episode of DIY. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed it. And now you guys helped me out with a lot of submissions of life hacks that you'd found around the place and you sent to my email, shown on screen here. I'm, I've still got a lot to sort through, but that means a lot more material. So thank you guys for all the emails that I have to sort through now though. Wow, wow, thanks. But seriously, don't stop sending them. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Um. Buy a watch, buy. Yeah, I got swag. Okay, cool. <laughs>